Well, we're really pleased to be able to bring you stage one of the Northumberland Coastal Path. This takes us from Creswell up to Walkworth along this fantastic beach we can see behind us. And we're going to be picking up old market towns, bird sanctuaries on the way. So quite a lot to look forward to. Welcome to Plan Watch Walk. You're at the home of great walking experiences. We endeavour to bring you some of the best walking around. Leaving Cresswell with the eight mile beach on our right, we pass bird sanctuaries in Durridge Bay Country Park on our way to Coquit Island and Amble before concluding the walk at Walkworth. Hi there, we're joined today by Ian Robson who was one of the originators who established the Northumberland Coastal Path. Ian, can you tell us a little bit about your experiences with the Coastal Path and how it was set up? I can, yes. So here at Craswell, this is the start of the 62 mile route which ends in, in Barrick. Um, it was funded through a European Union project, an Interreg 3B project, and it was called the North Sea Trail, uh, which took in seven countries around the North Sea Basin. And that funding allowed us to, to establish the Northumberland Coast Path. Previously there were sections of coastal path, but there wasn't a continuous link. This allowed us to work with farmers and landowners to um, add, add bits of coast path where they weren't and improve bits where they needed improved. That left us with a 60 mile, 62 mile trail from, from here in Creswell, as I say, up to Berwick. Well, we're in Creswell itself, and the road coming in comes in down this way, and you just need to turn right. And the start of the walk itself, the Sunderland Coastal Path, is actually just down through to the beach. Well, we're at the start of the Northumberland Coastal Path Walk. From Creswell up to Berwick upon Tweed, 62 miles, and as it says, for some of the finest coastal walking. Got the website and everything. We're starting today, and we're doing the south up to north. So today, we're heading from Creswell right the way up past Drudel Bay, Durridge Bay, Amble and then into Walkworth. And here we have the path to the coast. We've got Creswell behind us and we can either take up the beach or the actual path itself comes through the dunes and is well posted. Just over on the left here we've got the, the Drift Cafe so if you want a coffee or a break even before you start you can always pop into the Drift Cafe and then continue through the dunes or on the beach heading north. As we continue through the dunes on our path north, we've got on the left here, we have got Creswell Pond. And there are a number of ponds and lakes on the way up, on the way up north. And there's a huge amount of wildlife and birds um, collect around these areas. And uh, quite heavily noted for the wildlife that you can find along the route of the path.
we haven't been going too long so far and uh, just heading through the dunes it's just so tranquil walking you can probably see the backdrop behind us so if you want to follow the actual path at this point it's through the dunes uh, or as long as you're heading in the right direction being north the route weren't going you can head the beach as well if you want to come up to Northumberland got a stretch of beach with hardly anybody on and if we look the other way we've got half a dozen people so we can see here we've got George Bay Nature Reserves it's Northumberland Wildlife Trust and there's a, it's not just a single area it's the it's the whole of the area really from Creswell which we started off from right the way up to to High Hawksley so we're around about the uh, the Durridge Bay area the East Chevington area too we can just see we're around about here at the minute and uh, it's not just birds it's uh, it's wildlife nature and all the different plantation as well so there's a lot going on and lots to see on the walk so we just popped into George Bay Country Park and you can hear in the background there's lots of activity going on there's discover sailing over there we've got a nice coffee shop and it looks as if there's a number of kids parties out we're pretty much at the end of the, the school year so uh, worth popping into as you're walking up and you can stop and have a coffee on the way George Bay with all the different activities today's walk starting off from Creswell heading up the coast past Durridge Pools through the dunes and we've got East Chevington Reserve, Jurage Country Park, up around Hawksley Haven, the Almo Dunes, on to Ambo, and then we'll be heading off into Walkworth from there. Well, everyone, I just thought I'd uh, give you a quick update. We're north of Jurage Bay, heading up towards Huxley, and so far the walking's been really quite interesting there's been a bit of beach there's been some dunes there's been paths what there has been is a very well signposted route and we picked up a number of nature reserves on the way and we've always had a backdrop of this which is just quite stunning really um we've got about three miles to go i think it is to get to amble and we'll have a quick look around Amble and give you some info of what's going on there and uh, yeah it's a really nice walk this one very gentle very easy and uh, just really enjoyable Here we've got a bit of information regarding the uh, the Coconut Island. The the lighthouse and the whitewashed buildings go back to around about the 1841, and um, at that time, it was the lighthouse keeper was William Darling, who was the brother of Grace Darling, who's quite famous with inside the northeast. And we'll pick that up when we get up towards Bambra later on in these trips. So here we've got some more detail of the lighthouse and its history itself and there behind us we have Coquit Island itself and Coquit Island marks the the head of the estuary of the Coquit River of which we are going to be picking up at Amble and then moving through into Walkworth which is our next point of call so we'll continue on our way as we're passing Coquit Island on our right, we've got the, the mouth to the estuary of the River Coquit, and we can just see 
the tops of Amble. So a matter of probably about half a mile away from Amble now. Well, we're in Amble now. Just come across this info sign. We are currently, as you can say, it says we are, where are we? We are here. So what we're going to do, we're going to come around, kind of have a look at the jetty, and then we're going to pull back down along by the, the quayside here, round by the marina, and then we're going to be heading on up to um, Walkworth. So we're now at the, the mouth of the coca, and we've got the, the piers on either side. So we're going to be heading on down the pier there. As you can see, it is July, so we've got kids on the beach. Marvellous. As you can see just in the background over here, round about here, it's a bit grey, but we've got uh, Walkworth Castle, and that's our final destination for today. Our route from Sea Houses up to Walkworth has taken us along the side of the estuary here. There's a huge amount of uh, bird activity. You can probably just see a heron pulling off there. There's some swans, there's ducks, there's geese. There's, uh, there's a lot of activity. And the backdrop as we pull along, we can see Walkworth Castle with the English heritage flag flying on the top. Walkworth dates back to the 8th century. The castle is believed to date back to the 12th century. Today Walkworth is known as a picturesque village with cafes, pubs and nice walking along the castle and the river. Join us on stage two of the Northumberland Coast Pass, which takes us from Walkworth through to Craster. Well, that concludes stage one of the Northumberland Coastal Path. Today we've walked from Creswell through to Walkworth and been some real delights along the way. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll look out for stage two, that is Walkworth up to Craster. Uh, which is set up for another great walk. So until the next one, bye for now. <laughs>